has come for America to hear the truth about this tragic war. There comes a time when silence is betrayal. Many persons have questioned me about the wisdom of my path. Why are you speaking about the war, Dr. King? Why are you joining the voices of dissent? Peace and civil rights don't mix, they say. So this morning I speak to you on this issue because I am determined to take the gospel seriously. And I knew that I could never again raise my voice against the violence of the oppressed in the ghettos without having first spoken clearly to the greatest purveyor of violence in the world today, my own government. America and most of its newspapers applauded me in Montgomery. I stood before thousands of Negroes getting ready to riot when my home was bombed and said, we can't do it this way. They applauded us in the sit-in movement. We nonviolently decided to sit in at lunch counters. They applauded us on the freedom rides when we accepted blows without retaliation. The press was so noble in its applause, so noble in its praise when I was saying be nonviolent toward Bull Connor. There's something strangely inconsistent about a nation and a press that will praise you when you say be nonviolent toward Jim Clark, but will curse and damn you when you say be nonviolent toward little brown Vietnamese children.